Johnny, wake up. We got stuff to do. What? Yeah, come on, man. Oh, what time is it? It's video time. Come on, brother. All right. Okay. For all of you out there who don't realize that, that's a great recliner for you. That was a tip that we learned from Skyrim. You can lean back on your board, put it in the sand. It's a nice way to go. So we did the unboxing and then got a couple days out on the waters of Maui doing this. And I gotta tell you, just as expected, this footbed is awesome. It's really nice to be able to walk around on. Um, you know, with these, with these higher edges, you know, one thing I did notice is like when you're getting on your knees before you get, sometimes you hit these, but not a big deal. Um, going into jives, as you go in and you move your front foot up to the other space, it's really nice having this concave. It keeps your foot in it, it feels pretty good. And one of the things that I really, really, really enjoyed about this board was jumping it. It's super light, so it comes off the water really, really well. And you know, similar to what we said in the, in the WS45 uh, review, you know, when you have this double concave down here, it really separates back up from the water. So if you bit, do a big jump and you land down, you can pump up and get going really quickly thanks to that separation. Um, we did talk to some people who were uh, over at Ka'a here on, on Maui that said it took them a little bit to get used to the lift from these boards. The forward geometry comes off the water really quickly. Uh, for me personally, I, it, it seemed very natural. It could be because we ride Armstrong stuff all the time. Um, but it came up really quickly. It seemed nicely balanced. Uh, I didn't have the opportunity to get into super big waves um, because this time of year it's summer on Maui and so the North Shore doesn't have much much there but got into a couple small waves and it felt really good. Uh, we'll come back here with this board come uh, October, November, December, January, February when the North Swell comes in and I think this board is going to be fantastic for that. I like this board. Let me talk about the features that I like. I like this. <laughs> okay, John. The, the main feature that I like is the fact that the handle goes all the way through the board. Because if you're like me and you're learning how to wing foil, what happens is occasionally you get blown down the beach. You get blown down where you don't want to go. And so you get down there and after you're done swearing and you know, getting pissed, <laughs> then you say, okay, I gotta figure out a way to walk back up the beach. So I'll show you. This feature is awesome. I can walk this way. But oh wait, you know, if I wanna walk this way, the handle comes all the way through. So, so light. There you go. When I'm doing the walk of shame, I gotta handle both sides. That's one of my favorite features about this board. <laughs> the other. <laughs> the other thing I'd Wait, say... Wait, John, before you go on, there's a rumor going out there that uh, one day you took off from Ka'a and drifted downwind into boneyards, into the shallow reef, and got a little bit upset, maybe a little frustrated. Yeah, it's true. Because uh, unfortunately, when you foil with Tim, one thing that Tim likes to do is take pleasure in other people's misery. <laughs> so uh, that's not true. We're at all. out at Ka'a. That's not true. <laughs> it's in the winter. It's nuke and wind. He said, "Okay, Johnny, this is a good time to learn. Why don't you just go out here?" Next thing you know, I end up in the boneyard. There's a pillbox out there that I think I was hitting somewhere in there. There's waves nuking. Um, they crush me. I didn't know what to do with the wing. So then the leash pulls off, snaps the leash, wing goes away. It was a complete mess. When I finally collected myself on the beach, Tim's walking down, and I can tell that he can't he can't hide the joy in his face from my suffering. There was no joy. I was like David Hasselhoff running down there to try to rescue us out of the water. So yeah, I took that board and I threw it back up on the beach. I threw it at Tim and I said, I'm done with this shit. This is the worst sport on the planet. But but now you're back. And now, because you have the handle, it's going to be better. Handle's you'll, good. You, I'm learning. You, you will be able to get your feet in this footbed really nicely. Again, dual carbon stringer that runs the length of it nice and stiff. It pumps really well. So if you come out of a jive, and even if you're switched and you need to put a couple pumps to kind of keep it up on, on foil, you're going to do great. You're going to kill it. Uh, Johnny, any, any last message? Last message. If you're like me and you are learning, sometimes you got that wing there and you're on your knees. As Tim said, this concave, you know, the, the carve out here, 
it can kind of grind on your knees when you're kind of you know hooling and trying to get up so I a little pro tip that might work is you could take some grip tape and put it up here on the rail so it's not like digging in there yeah that's just something you could do to modify it but uh, pretty soon you'll be up and flying this board's super stable and uh, it'll work well yeah all right thanks so much for checking out this video hope you enjoy the footage that we've been playing during this and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come back for more information and more videos. And we'll have a few more stories from John and maybe one from me. How he takes me out into waves that I have no business being in. But I always make it to shore. We always make it back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Aloha from Maui.